Hey everybody, welcome back to Chillax with Zach, the absolute chillest gaming channel on YouTube. We are continuing our playthrough of The Last of Us Part 1. This is episode 14, and tensions are high. Let's get straight into the game. Uh, it's a lovely Tuesday night. Hope the start to your week has been going well. But we have to escape this uh, building. Guy's moving up. He's gonna get an arrow straight away. Uh, and tensions are high for more reasons than just needing to fight our way out of this building, but tensions are high because Ellie and Joel just had a conversation that was real rough. Joel wants to pass Ellie off to his brother, Tommy, and Ellie wants to stay with Joel because she trusts him like no one else, and it's very emotional. But we don't have time to feel things. We gotta not die. I got you now. Yeah, see what I'm talking about? So, uh, yeah, I'll take a uh, three durability machete over a two durability axe. That sounds good. No arrow recovery, kind of annoying. But wow, straight back into the game, straight into the episode. Bit of a bit of a chaotic intro there, but that's just how it is sometimes. But I'm feeling, I'm feeling good about it. I don't think there's anybody around here in this level anymore. So we can start making our way downstairs, take stock of what we have. I hope that intro wasn't too rushed. It's starting to catch up with me now. I'm like, was that too fast? I talked too quickly. Whoa. You're not supposed to do that. I do that to you. <laughs> Give him the Uno reverse. <laughs> and it's purely because they did that to me. I would have never thought to do that. I don't really use smoke bombs nearly enough. Nice. God. Whoa. Really? You're just gonna put your head right there? Uh-oh. Come on. It's a good thing I don't really value my 9mm ammo. It's like, whatever. <laughs> oh, but I am gonna have right. to... House is clear. Gonna have to do something about my health. Jeez. All right. Let's see where the game takes us today, fam. I'm excited to find out what happens between Joel and Ellie, because they, they're just, they're not seeing eye to eye at all at the moment, you know? Joel wants to be rid of her. Ellie wants to stay. I've already explained this, but it's still on my mind. I can't not think about it. Because that, that cutscene that we watched, end of the last episode, it's it's so tense, but it's like, it's it's a very important all cards on the table kind of moment. Like, Ellie finally makes it clear that, like, she wants to stay with Joel, not just because of the plot, but, like, because she likes him and trusts him and everything. And then Joel just, like, doubles down on his I ain't your dad position. But, uh... But it's good. It's good for the for the development because this is not where it ends, you know. All right, Brent Pino, three seventeen, cool, cool. Sometimes you gotta have a little fight to uh, to make up later. You know what I mean? That's how drama works. Let's get back to the horses. All right, yeah. Full agree. Let's check this room first. But otherwise, I think I think we've done a pretty good job clearing this house. So I ain't I ain't bothered about it. We're clear. Mm. 
You want a hand up? I got it. There she is. Kids will be watching movies tonight. Where is this lab of theirs? It's all the way out, University of Eastern Colorado. Go big horns. Ellie, get off your horse. Give it on back to Tommy. I'm gonna hang on to this fella, that's all right with you. Go on, don't make me repeat myself. What are you doing? Your wife kind of scares me. <laughs> I don't want her coming after me. Sorry for stealing your horse. Well, come back to town. Let's discuss it at least. You know me, my mind's all made up. University, Eastern Colorado. How do I find this lab? It's in the science building. Looks like a giant mirror and you can't miss it. Care of that wife of yours. There's a place for you here. You know? You good? I'm good. Adios, little brother. Okay, let me see if I get this straight. If you mess up your fourth down, then you give the ball to the other team? Right, it's called turnover. And if you clear the 10 yards, then you're back at first down? First down, that's right. Man, that's confusing. <laughs> hey, you just gotta play it a couple times. It all makes sense. <laughs> oh yeah. You see, there's what Joel says, and then there's what Joel does. And everything Joel says is like, I will never open my heart to a child again. And then what Joel does is he just, he can't, he can't let go of her. He cares. And we are going straight backwards. <laughs> but wow. Stay, Callis. What kind of name is Callis anyways? Not my fault you forgot to ask Tommy his name. Callis. <laughs> Go. All right, nothing back here. You know me. Overly obsessed with scavenging. But also exploring, scoping out the vibes. Wow. We are uh we're in Colorado now. That's cool. Wonder how far that is from Wyoming. My geography is about as good as my reading skills. <laughs> but it's fine fine so I, yeah i guess some time has probably passed since uh the whole thing with tommy's but yeah here we are university college campus go big horns it's real nice i love it let's see if we can find these fireflies be a lot of exploring this episode i bet i'm here for it Try not to get too sidetracked. Yeah. Okay. None of these buildings look like a mirror to me. Well, we'll head to Central Grounds. Should be able to see most of the campus from there. Okay. Since we're on a college campus, I think it's time for the question of the day, which uh, this time around is, if you went to college, what did you study? And if you did not go to college, 
What are you like generally interested in? You know, what do, what do you never tire of learning about? I'll stay with Callus. I hate that name. That's the real question. What do you never tire of learning about? Because I want it to be inclusive. Like, not everybody goes to college, and that's completely fine. I happen to go, but uh, I think honestly, I'm in a I'm in a almost minority at this point of people who like my degree makes perfect sense for my career. Like, as a software engineer, a degree in computer science actually does help a lot. <laughs> as a, although you don't need to do it, you can also just like do like coding boot camps. There's a lot of people I know who've done that. Anyways, the point is not college. The point is, what do you love? What do you love learning about? <laughs> what it, what like intrigues you? For me, it's, uh, I think it really is, like, art, which is funny because I studied computer science, but, you know, we got to do what we got to do. But I just love learning all kinds of things about how art works. I've talked about this before already, but, like, CGI, how games are designed and developed. It's just, it's a, it's a bottomless pit of information, and I could live down there, you know? That's what I love. Flamethrower? It's too much. All right. We got ourselves a workbench. I think we check it out. Here we go. Let's see. Let's see if we can be quick. Yeah, only 115, so there's not a whole lot we can do anyway. But let's, let's do one upgrade. How about that? One and only one. Okay, we're doing zero upgrades. <laughs> oh, it's fine. Save the save the parts. Save the parts. It's all good. Fine with that. Let's switch to weapons that actually have stuff in them. Uh, I may as well equip the flamethrower. We'll see if we can put that to the test. This episode. So, these places, people would live here and just study, even though they were all grown up. Mm, study, party find themselves, figure out what they wanted to do with their lives. What they wanted to do with their lives. <laughs> That's a giant ram. You guys were like some idol worshippers. <laughs> when it came to sports? Hell yeah. Yep. She's not far off. It's kind of funny you ever like take a step back from all the things we take for granted in life. Ooh, it's getting chilly. It's that time of year. Like any culture looks like a cult from from far enough outside. You know what I mean? They're like, why do they care so much right about back. football? I'll be here. Why do they care so much about the Oscars and the Emmys? And don't get me wrong, I live on this planet too. I love that stuff. Well, we ain't going this way. But it's just like objectively, it's very funny. A lot of things are arbitrary if you really look at them from a distance. But I can inhabit both perspectives. How many people do you think are there? Fireflies. I reckon it takes quite a crew to run that operation. You think there'll be other people my age? Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah. You'd think we'd be seeing some more people already. If there's a whole crew here, you know? <clears throat> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What is it? Sounds like runners. Stay with the horse. I'll go check it out. Sure? Yes, I don't want him running off. I'll be right back. All right, battle stations. This is what we came for. Ooh, we got a horde. Huh. Looks like someone jerry-rigged this thing. We got a lot. All right, what's this note say? This might help us. Okay. We had to rig up the door to the generator upstairs. Please use it sparingly as we are running out of gas. Well, that's not great. So, of course, no way to get out of this area without going up to where all the infected are. Classic game design. We can accept it. It's good. You gotta have a reason to do the things. We're doing good.
Oh, that's not good. I don't like being observed. Don't look at me. Uh -huh. Yeah, that was that was kind of silly of me. But that was less silly of me. Hmm. Nah. And I don't have a brick or a bottle. It's my biggest regret in life right now. Mm. Okay. Well, do we do we torch the place? I feel like that's the purpose of this room, right? It's the game saying, hey, you got a new weapon. How about you use it? But if I can, like, get some free kills in first... Oh, okay. All right, torch mode. How much fire does it take? Back off. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let's run. We gotta run. We gotta survive. Eat fire. Nope. Not a fan of that. I'm all out of fire. No more fire. But I have one arrow. This person's name on it. Whoa! Hold up! There's two names on this arrow! What an unexpected turn of events. <laughs> oh, what happened to me? That's that. Between episodes 12 and 13. I got so good at the game. We love it. But I can't start a generator to save my life. Here we go. <sighs> Are we pleased with ourselves? I am. I think we're doing good. Yeah, okay. Well, we're all out of fire, which is kind of sad. I was hoping to use a little more of that. We'll get more. Or I suppose the right thing to say would be we're out of propane? Or whatever this thing runs on? Like, I don't know. What do flamethrowers run on? It's probably propane or gasoline or something. How do you reload propane into a into a flamethrower? Does it come in like canisters? Are the canisters standardized? Hey, I was thinking I would have wanted to be an astronaut. That a fact. Yeah. Can you imagine being up there all by yourself? Would have been cool. I'm just mm hmm Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know another funny thing? about uh, about my degree in computer science what is that you? everything I'm doing uh, well when I was a kid I used to want to be uh, a singer <laughs> shut up I'm serious sing something uh, no come on <laughs> I won't laugh I don't think so Joel please <laughs> ain't happening uh, I was gonna say, everything I do for this YouTube channel, and actually every YouTube channel I've worked on, because this is like my second YouTube project, it's like, has nothing to do with anything I studied in school, really. Which is like, it's just, it's a whole different thing. Like, I realized this recently. My job as an engineer, 0% of it involves creating videos, 0% of it involves um, entertaining other people. It's all very technical, and uh, and so it's just it's just funny to me that like this is what I love. Also, kind of love Those both. Monkeys? Yeah, a whole mess of them. <laughs> so yeah, I relate to Joel. You know, Joel wanted to be a singer. That was his dream, and then he became a killing machine. I wanted to be. A YouTuber. And then I became an engineer. And a YouTuber. <laughs> so yeah, you know, don't let your day job keep you from having dreams. And living them. 
I think we're looking for the science building. I think that's what uh, Tommy said earlier. Have you seen someone by now? Maybe these guys like to keep a low profile. Yeah, maybe. Hey, look. Fireflies. I see it. Mm. This is good. First sign of fireflies. Yep. Yep, yep. Very good. Come on. Yeah, this is a huge open area. If we tried to scavenge this place, we would just we would never see the end of it. We'd never get anywhere. So I think we're just gonna ride around and look for the science building. He said it looked like a giant mirror or something. Is that it? I mean it's not a mirror, but it's a big building with a lot of glass. Can I go this way even? Doesn't look like that's an option. What are we doing? Let's try this. I bet you there's a way through here, maybe. All right, let's try that gate. Hmm. Nice. The gamer instincts. There it is. Okay. Figures. This won't budge. Mm-hmm. All right, generator on wheels. Ellie, you wanna you wanna let me buy? Thank you. Watch yourself. You too. Oh yeah, yeah yeah yeah. <sighs> Have I asked you how your Monday went yet? It's something I always gotta do in the Tuesday uploads. Can't miss it. Uh, okay, let's see. A map of the UEC campus with circled areas and handwriting on it. Top, uh, getting slammed here, must beef up barricades. Bottom, infected, slipping through here, need to reinforce all stadium and bookstore exits. Okay. Just the usual notes to self of other people. Hmm. I'm feeling real chill this episode. There's not a whole lot going on at the moment. Just exploring. But sometimes you need that. Got enough else to do in the game when the going gets tough. It's nice to just relax for a bit. You know we love the chill vibes on this channel. It's actually very funny to me that I, like, started this channel with the intent of making content specifically for people who just want to relax after a long work day. And then I've, like, immediately just started playing games that <laughs> have a lot of uh, high-energy action in them, you know? But I think it still works. My opinion. Yeah, I am not going to read this, but I will scroll through it so that you can if you would like to. Wonder how long you held out. We don't read diaries. I gotta respect the privacy, you know? Especially of college students. They're figuring out who they are. I don't want to dox them, you know? Fictional college students. Assuming that is who wrote that journal. Could have just been a squatter. That's good. Okay, even if you're like studying like anatomy and stuff, you don't have like a skeleton in your dorm. That's not a thing. Bit odd. <sighs> but uh, let's keep looking around. I wonder, is there a safe anywhere around Damn, here? Spores. I haven't found a safe in a while. Would be nice to find one of those. All right. It's go time. Let's be, uh, let's be smart. Let's be stealthy. Clickers, clickers everywhere. And I think one just heard me. This is going to be real rough. I don't even know what my objective is. 
We're just gonna take him out. Mm, I have one arrow. And this is its third name. How many names are on the arrow? Only time will tell. Let's retrieve it. Is that a bloater? Are you serious? All right. We can't alert anything in this area. We have alerted. Can I run past? Oh boy. Get out. Move. Okay. Good. Have I acquired enough skills to get myself out of this debacle? It's possible. I might have learned all the skills necessary. But we can't be sure until we do it. I need to get out of this situation. This is the problem. I like only have short range weapons. Run, 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 run. Oh no. No! Ah! We were doing good there. Let's reset the camera. <sighs> Back in it. Okay. Well, we got the arrow back. And let's give this arrow a fourth name. Nope. No such luck. Alright. You know what? I do actually still believe that this is the way. We gotta just take him out like this. Oh, that's fire. That's literal fire. Have you heard that album? It's fire. I wonder if I could just, like, run this one around the table. It just can't get close enough to hit me. No thanks. No thanks. Respect my distance, please. I'm not the biggest fan of people being close to me like this. God, how many shotgun shells does it take? This has got to be like the last one. Wow, it's not. Okay, all right. Let's see if they like fire. But from a safe distance. Yeah. Yeah. That's how that goes. Gosh. <sighs> Was this one a firefly? That sucks. Joe Warren, 310. We figured it out. We found out who Joe is. All I've ever heard about Joe is his mama. All right, I guess we're just getting out. We'll do all right. What? Why is Joel upset? I get the strange feeling I'm gonna get attacked or something here. No? Do I just keep trying or am I supposed to give up on this? Like what, what am I? What? What am I supposed to do? Find another way around? I don't, I don't understand. It like, hang on, hang on. One more thing I want to try. I just, okay. I have to keep mashing square. I thought I had to hold it down. Oh. Glad I figured that out. That's my fault. I just don't understand the prompts sometimes. We've been through this. Is it a little bit the game's fault? Yes. But, uh, I don't know. I'll share the blame. I think that's the only fair thing to do, right? 
My ego ain't that big. I try not to have one of those. Starve the ego, feed the soul. It's a really good song. Instrumental. Look it up. Okay, that's the way out. But what's over here? Is this the ammo that I deserve? Alrighty. Are you okay? What happened in there? More infected, I'm fine. Here, come up on the gate. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're doing good. We made it out. Wow, that was a long trek through the building just to get here. Just to get to this. Let's uh let's move this generator. Plug it in, turn it on. Pray to God there's gas in it already. Alright, let's leave that. Uh can I? Ellie, help me out here. What do I do? Why? Why is this not a thing? What's, what's, what am I not understanding? What? Game, don't do this to me. I'm making a video. There we go. You just have to get it close enough. Yeah, this episode's got some weird vibes. It's okay. All right, start the Jenny. Here we go. One, a two. Trace. Let's try the gate. You did it. Yeah, come on through. Those fuckers. You think they were fireflies? No. No, I don't think so. Mm. Why would they have an infected so close to the lab? Get them. Well, Bill used them as a form of defense. Maybe they're doing the same. Yeah, I could see that. That is an interesting concept. I wouldn't want to keep the dead so close to me. Doesn't seem smart long term, you know? All right. Good back. Nothing for med kits, nothing for nope. ammos. We're going to need a resupply at some point. But for now, we venture forward. <laughs> hmm. Is the sun setting? I feel like it's gotten darker since we got here. That's a nice touch. Big if true. Yeah, no look. Words. No, nothing. It's orange. Yeah, I'd expect to see someone by now. Let's get inside. Mm-hmm. All right, I think we were correct. This giant building with all the windows probably is the science building, but let's check the tents first real quick. I think that's important, because I suspect this is where our supplies would be hiding. Mm-hmm. What, the university? Yeah. <laughs> no, not as a student, at least. Why not? Uh, I had Sarah when I was pretty young. Were you married? For a while. What happened? Okay. Too much? Too much. <laughs> New Firefly pendant. See who this one is. Living fireflies. We better. <laughs> Eric Griggs, one eleven. Griggs is an is a cool name. I feel like it's a good military name, Sergeant Griggs. I'd respect the hell out of that guy. It's a nice name. Hmm. Okay. All right, I think we just move on, keep going here. Scooch. Back on the horse. Get him. Nice. This is fun. Uh, please? Yes. Good. Good. And actually, this is one of the parts I remember pretty decently well. So let's, uh, let's grab the trash bin because... 
You know how that works. That's just the best piece of mobile equipment in the game. Ain't, ain't no problem a trash bin or a brick can't solve. Ellie, get out of the way. We're going ramming speed. Go big horns. That's how you open a gate. Sometimes. Not what I had in mind, but it'll do. Oh, it was exactly what I had in mind, Joel. All right. Let's keep on moving forward. I do love a good little puzzle, you know? Cause it's like a little out, it's a little outside of the box. It's always good for games to push those boundaries. Cause if it's just the same thing every time, it kind of gets like old, unrealistic. Cause in real life, you wouldn't just get the same stuff over and over. You'd have some variety. Um, but the real question is, ah, which way do we go? And I, I just figured it out. Don't worry. Just got to move this again. There we go. Let's get on this truck. Hmm. Joel and Ellie are, they're not talking a whole bunch this episode. I kind of wonder where their relationship is at at the moment. Because he like almost ditched her and now he's not ditching her. Just makes right, you wonder. Inside. Come on, kiddo, give me your hand. There you go. Thanks. Let's look around. Mm hmm. Always looking around. That's what we gotta do. I guess if this is the science building, there's got to be some good stuff in here. Nice. Empty drawers. We love it. Is that a candy bar? Or a granola bar or whatever it is? It's giving me the prompt, but yeah, you got to do that first. That's good. Game doesn't let him just reach through the glass. That would be silly. Okay, let's check this room. Just an explorey episode. Just looking around. Exploring college. Aw. I was hoping it'd be another locked room. That's an upgrade bench, but we don't need that. We've already confirmed this is not an upgrade episode. Unless we find tools or something near here, you know? Then maybe. All right, a bunch more drawers and cabinets. Cabinets and drawers. Pills and nothing. Oh, no, not nothing. Spoke too soon. Finally, a decent health kit. Uh, are we still full on scissors? We are. Let's shiv it up. There we go. Wonderful. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Yoo-hoo! Fireflies! Care for mankind over here. <laughs> Anyone? Let's keep it down until we figure out what's going on. Here we go. That's what I'm looking for. The locked doors. That's where all the good stuff is. Let's see. What have we got in here? Is that tools? We got tools! Okay. Yeah, uh, I don't know what that's called. I'm not even going to embarrass myself by trying. Alright. Uh, deployment. Cool. What is this? Explosion radius now two times wider on Molotovs. That's nice. More fire? Rags? Parts? Okay. Maybe this is worth an upgrade. But you know what? I think I'm still going to wait on the upgrades. I don't think we need them immediately at the moment. 
And so I'll just wait for the next, we'll do it the next episode. I think we've kind of, this episode has been slow paced enough as it is. I kind of want to move things along just a little bit, you know, before we, uh, before we get too bored. We got to keep it engaging. So let's go. Let's advance some stuff. See where this leads us. Nothing useful. Ain't nothing here but a bunch of medical mumbo jumbo. I don't get it. it. Looks like they all just packed up and left in a hurry. Maybe not all of them. Stay close. Hmm. Okay, something's happening. We're closing in. Let's go upstairs. See what's making all the ruckus. Nothing over here. Keep going. This is pretty neat. I do love an indoor tree. That's kind of awesome. Was that... Did that happen after the apocalypse, or was that like part of the original design? There are no bodies. That's good, right? Hmm. We found out where they went. Let's just follow Ellie. Can always. Uh oh. Shit. Um. So it's part of the clickers, right? <laughs> no, clickers don't hide. Huh. So something tugged on the cord, I guess. Something that was not one of the two of us. Okay. More scavenging. When you gotta, you gotta. Okay. Let's keep looking. Finding the things. That is a brick. We don't need bricks. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. The ammo. The parts. This is good stuff. I'll take these. It's not, not too bad. Not too shabby. Oh, and look. Look, we did it. We did it. We scavenged the area. Not much else to look at. We can move along. And that's what we really want to do. I want more story. I want more cutscenes. Jesus. Snake clickers. Yeah. No fireflies either. Well, maybe in all that research, they turn into fucking monkeys. <laughs> Just keep searching. We'll find something. Ellie's disappointed. I get it. I keep looking around. I wonder where these monkeys came from, you know? What is this? That's four pallets of lab equipment all packed up and ready to go. Now, the big question is, what do we do with all you guys? They say the tainted bash needs to be put down. You know what I say? I say, screw that. Hmm. Who made a bigger sacrifice than you, right? Anyone deserves to run free out there. Hey, easy! Stop! No. Okay, so they were experimenting on the monkeys. I'm sure glad we didn't mess with them monkeys. We didn't say where they went. I know. Let's just keep looking. Oh, shoot. Well, would the infected monkeys that were experimented on, would they just be running around just fine? Well, I guess... I guess, like, runners and clickers and stuff, they run around on their own, too. But they look different, you know? Those look like normal, healthy monkeys. But you never know. Sadie Pearl Hickman, 231. We're finding a lot of these pendants. Means we're being thorough. That's pretty good. Uh, well, what else are we looking for? What else are we trying to find? 
It seems like the fireflies have probably vacated. All signs of life seem old at best. Okay. St oh, I hate that. I can't pick up this rag because I can't, I literally can't craft anything without other resources. That's unfortunate. Oh well. We move along. Mm hmm. Yeah, no shit. I'm dead. Or I will be soon. Got me some time to reflect. Been years that felt like we were... Fucking thing was a giant waste of time. I'm not gonna do this anymore. Come on. Looking for the others. They've all returned to St. Mary's Hospital in Salt Lake City. You'll find them there. Still trying to save the world. Do you know where that is? I know the city. Is it far? It ain't close. I mean, on horseback. What? Fireflies? Get down! Oh. <laughs> what the fuck are these guys? Oh my goodness. It don't matter. We know where to go. Let's get the hell out of here. All right. Well, we're at time, y'all. We're at time. Bit anticlimactic, bit of a bit of a sort of slower second half of this episode. So you know, apologies for that. But this is the game. This is the game we're playing. Sometimes you gotta slow down to make the the more intense parts pop a little more. I don't know. I'm trying to recover. Anyways, thanks so much for tuning into this Tuesday night episode. We'll pick it up on Friday. We'll fight our way out of this one yet again. We're stopping right before a combat segment. It's totally fine. Until then, take care. Take it easy. Keep it chill. I'll talk to you very soon. Bye for now.